Okay, Revenants. Um, I believe uh, that we are uh, up and running here. Uh, let's see. Everything seems to be in order. So uh, today uh, we are going to be experimenting with um, a sort of a generalist type of a setup here. Uh, what we're going to be running is we're going to be running Volley. And for those of you that do not have um, the DLC 3, the Lord of Thunder, and you can't have access to Volley, uh, you can switch this to be EOS, and uh, you'll notice that it's all basically exactly the same. A little bit more health, a little bit more i uh, a little bit less uh, light uh, value, a little bit less drain attack, um, but overall... Uh, it's exactly the same uh, setup, the same gifts, the same everything. So uh, what I've been kind of mulling over the past uh, little while here is um, how do you how do you set up for each and every scenario in any place in the game when you are uh, assisting your your friends and such, or if you're uh, trying to um, connect with people uh, throughout. Uh, throughout Bane. Um, so I've kind of put this together to see uh, there's only like 650 people or something online right now so we'll see if uh, if anybody's out there uh, to actually see if if we can if we can show this um, at all. If not we'll have to um, uh, figure out something to do on our own and maybe invite someone to come with us. Hi Dingo, uh, welcome to the to the uh, stream here, we'll we'll see if we can uh, actually show it off. But uh, so I've been I've been trying to uh, build this in such a way that it doesn't matter um, what enemy you come across, what um, what uh, boss you come across, or uh, if you were uh, adventuring or or running or what 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 are you doing. Um, it seems that uh, this is a really good way to uh, go about. Uh, setting up, um, set, setting up these builds here. Now uh, we're paired up here with Eva, obviously. Um, just be oh, we found somebody excellent. Um, just because it doesn't really matter at this point, so we'll see how this uh, how this turns out. I was actually um, I had a dream the other day, and this was the build that uh, kind of just came to me. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> um, I know that sounds weird and whatever, but I do enjoy the game a little bit. And, uh, <laughs> and I was thinking, well, you know, if I was going to generalize and I was going to try and assist somebody anywhere at any time, uh, how would I do that? And I would never have to change, um, you know, my build or anything. So, oh, even better. Hello. Good to see okay, so here we go. Now, uh, the nice thing is, is that we are prepped and ready for this. Oh, okay. Let's get ourselves going here. Okay. And we're going to need uh, bridge going. Okay. And let's go ahead and heal. Uh, so now we have uh, massive, massive um, uh, health regeneration here. And we pretty much uh, kill these things in one hit, uh, which is very, very good. Okay. So now uh, that we're going to be going for the uh, Gilded Hunter, Anytime I need to, I can switch out for the uh, um, for the uh, ass assistance there from uh, uh, from our uh, uh, what is that? Okay, uh, the the piercing here. Okay, there we go. And let's go ahead and slash this fella down. Oh, the uh, lag here is kind of hitting me. There we go. Okay, now let's go ahead and back up here. And uh, let's get in here and give him some assistance. Oh. Okay, let's go up. Oh, come on. Come on. Sit still. There we go. Okay, so goodbye, friend. Um, so there you go. Uh, we just popped in and uh, we popped off the uh, uh, Gilded Hunter. We used one heal. We didn't heal our friend, but uh, that was what Mia was for. Um, so you can see that, uh, especially here in New Game, 
um, or in a regular game, uh, this just kind of rolls over. I mean, we were in danger there a little bit of uh, taking some damage and dying, but uh, not not anything too terrible. Um, but since we are uh, since we're able to uh, switch on the fly uh, based on uh, where, whether we're needing to do slash uh, or we're needing to do crush or we're needing to do pierce, uh, we have an answer for, for any of the damage typings that we're going to be coming across. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and heal up here and replace our, uh, our items. And uh, you'll notice that we have a couple of uh, uh, consumables down here that's not for anything other than uh, simply, um, you know, just having access to more, more things. So we have a 40% uh, increase in healing from uh, improved regeneration, and we have a 15% increase, so it gives us a total of a 61% uh, multiplicative value increase in our healing uh, regeneration and uh, paired up with cleansing light we'll be getting back a lot of damage and also in augmented regeneration we'll be able to get back uh, or we'll be able to have two more uh, regenerations uh, when we move into uh, helping a friend uh, as you saw there we had seven that we had access to uh, rather than just the uh, five that you normally go in uh, with your friends so this is a great way to uh, provide um, really, really good support, whether it's crush damage or whether it is slash damage or whether it is pierce damage. And then you can switch up the elements uh, to be what you need. Now this is all um, hinging on the, on the fact that you uh, enjoy playing either a, a run and gun style or a, um, or a uh, kind of a close in mage kind of a style there as you saw. We uh, had to manage our stamina a little bit while at the same time uh, we were having to get off the uh, um, the barrage gift a uh, considerable amount of time. Now, not all of the gifts will be useful uh, all at one time because uh, elemental wall you see there that uh, having that active having that active available to us is only kind of useful um, versus uh, some of the uh, dark knight kind of folks. Uh, it's also useful versus the um, uh, versus the duo, the Cannoneer and the Blade Bearer, and uh, since it gets us to 160 on ice, uh, we will be invincible to the Blade Bearer, we just have to watch out for the Cannoneer, and since he kind of uh, lumbers around and, um, you know, kind of damages us uh, at a distance, we can uh, usually easily dodge him, but it brings us up to a 93. It, uh, it grants us, because of our high light damage, it grants us 62 to all of our element resistances, and so uh, Elemental Wall is kind of there as a, uh, for exactly this kind of a time. Oh, it looks like somebody's trying to impersonate Let's try. uh, the Golden Let's Warrior S here. Looks like they may have seen my video, maybe not. Okay, but uh, this will be fun. Okay, so this is a good chance for us to uh, see our, our ability here. So we need uh, Ice and Blood Pierce, or Ice and Blood. Um, of any kind. There we go. And let's go. And we'll definitely go for the uh, pipe. Uh, and uh, we will um, get. Wh whoops. Okay, here she is. Now we're going to need some uh, I core here to go for bridge. Okay. Oh. That. What? What happened? Okay. There we go. Oh, good grief. This is a mess. <laughs> uh, oh, my goodness. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was, uh, <laughs> that was a mess. That was a complete mess. Uh, okay. Um, I came in. We got exploded. Um, th then we all died uh, instantly. Um, Wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's let's try that again. I hope uh, Lotus uh, picks us back up here. Uh, that would be completely horrible if uh, <laughs> if we don't uh, get to get to help him out. Uh, okay. Let's try that again. Yeah. That was a complete uh, complete fail there, uh, Dingo. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was a complete fail. But um, if we can actually get in there with the buffs going. Uh, with the uh, elemental wall happening with all the things going uh, we will definitely be on our way to kind of destroying 
the doggy uh, simply because we will have huge, huge, huge uh, elemental resistances and that's all she does is elemental damage to us, so uh, we should be fine. Um, but uh, we'll see if we actually get it back here. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty surprised that that was the exact same, uh, <laughs> exact same wings and the gold and everything, so uh, we'll see if, uh, if uh, he's wanting us to come back. Uh, hopefully, hopefully so. We'll probably switch to the ice blood um, since uh, that has more ice, or it has it has about the same amount of damage as the uh, pipe actually, since they're both gifted to get the uh, highest uh, um, multiplier possible out of uh, Bridge to Glory when we're prepped up here with all this. So um, we're trying, as this is kind of going to be a generalist to pair up with with uh, pretty much anybody you know, uh, we should be, we should be okay here with our damage. Yeah, this guy was the real Owen. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> I could be, I could be a, an imposter in my own self. Um, you, you never, you never can tell, uh, with the amount of times that I die. Who knows? Oh, good grief. With only 600 people online or whatever, this is kind of rough. But uh, maybe we maybe we can uh, host something. But it's a lot of fun to uh, actually help others uh, finish up something that they've maybe been trying for a while, or um, or uh, you know been struggling in a certain part. Or it's just fun to actually play with somebody else and be in that support role. But uh, may not uh, be the case here. Um, Maybe I'm on the wrong server. Maybe I should uh, go to a different server and see how the lag will be um, at uh, at different servers. Um, maybe that's what we should do. Uh, okay, let's try. Uh, let's try. Um, let's see. No, same area. Let's try. Keep keyboard doesn't like uh, keyboard doesn't like me. Let's try Europe since they're a little bit of ahead of us. Okay. Um. Maybe, come on, come on, come on. Maybe nobody's up yet. Maybe it's maybe they're all sleeping. You wanna you wanna join? <laughs> that might be fun. I mean, it would be fun. Uh, can I try my build in your random mod? Yeah, sure. I mean that's what that's the whole point of this is that uh, it's it's scheduled and built to be um, completely uh, generalized to pretty much any anything. Um, but uh, okay, it looks like Europe is not uh, not kicking off here. Uh, we'll try we'll try the North America server one more time, and we'll give it like five clicks here, and we'll see if see if you want to get in here, Dingo, uh, if possible. And uh, we'll see, uh, we'll see uh, how how this goes. But um, yeah, it's a it's a really good build, and I'll show you here for um, uh, and all this uh, all this obviously applies to uh, to uh, EOS as well. And as you see here, we have 31 fire, uh, 98 ice, uh, 41 lightning, and uh, 32 blood. And if we uh, pop off uh, elemental wall here. Uh, we get 62 added to all of our items, so ice gets us to 160, so we're completely invincible to ice as soon as we use it. We have 93 fire, so we're, we're pretty pretty uh, resistive to fire, but uh, that's okay. And blood, 94, so we have really, really, really good uh, elemental resistances there, as um, those can be some of the most damaging uh, elements in the game, ice and fire. Uh, there's not too many people in the game that do lightning, except for the excuse me, except for the um, uh, the dark gilded hunter looking fellas, the dark hunters, uh, the warriors in black, and the uh, doggy, as you saw there, the successor of the ribcage, and uh, that was pretty problematic to say the least, um, just getting in there and getting slaughtered. Uh, hopefully the uh, hopefully Lotus may want us to come back, um, maybe not. Uh, that's too bad. Maybe my ping is like through the roof, who knows. Uh, let's see here. How's how's the how's the connection doing? Oh, it looks like everything's looks like everything's okay. Streams healthy. Everything's going. Um, so yeah, 
uh, I guess it's just on, on uh, us to try and find somebody. But uh, this is why I really do believe that the, that the game still needs to happen, is because there's still so much more uh, to investigate um, with, the, with the different areas. Um, and uh, it, it's, there's still so much untapped potential here in the game, uh, but uh, it's just not being um, you know, utilized. Uh, very well. Uh, so if we if we pick somewhere like um, oh I don't know uh, the Crown of Sand uh, could be a good place um, to try this out. Uh, looks like Dingo is coming online, so uh, we'll try for uh, one more one more uh, distress signal here, and we'll see how it goes. But at least we got the Gilded Hunter in there. That was that was a good kill, um, even if it was a little bit sloppy there. Uh, but we'll 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 see here what the um, random mod is. Now uh, again, if we're if we're here uh, versus these fellas, uh, again we can do. Um, let's switch our weapon here. We can do real really really good damage, um, no matter what we're doing. And since we have ice on our uh, blood veil, we do pretty good damage there. And and we can just uh, put these guys down. So. Um, you can see that uh, you know being able to go through here uh, quickly and effectively and easily, uh, we just kind of you know demolish these fellas uh, over and over and over. Hey, sunset greatsword, how nice! Let's pick this up. Now I'm ruining the road to 100 here a little bit, but uh, that's okay. As uh, we'll just kind of say that there was a titanium there, and we'll and we'll pick that up. And uh, there's footprints on the on the uh, area there, but uh, that's okay. Um, but uh, for end game, for uh, early game, for mid game, for anywhere in the game, <laughs> uh, this setup here can uh, be applied to uh, basically any situation. Um, and you have two uh, options here. You have Cloak of Winter, which is really slow, and you have uh, Thunderbolt Impact. But both of them are um, both of them are uh, AOE uh, crush. Uh, light damage, so you can get uh, really good use out of them here. Uh, then you have your barrages, you have your four barrages that you can go for to get you pierce uh, based on el element of the enemy. I would say uh, keep lightning active at all times until you know that you need to go for ice, blood, or fire. Uh, typically you won't ever need uh, fire except for Nicola, uh, so that's pretty easy to figure out. Blood you won't need except for um, either the successor of the ribcage or the uh, um, Despot, nobody else is uh, good for blood, uh, and the Berserker, sorry, and the Berserker, and uh, Ice is good for pretty much everyone, um, and Lightning is good for pretty much everyone, so uh, these two you definitely want to have access to, the nice thing is, is uh, Ice Barrage comes from Fion, and Lightning Barrage you pick up in the, in the Depths map, the uh, f uh, Flood of Impurity, and so these two you can have access to very, very easily and fairly early on uh, in the game. Uh, so let's go, go ahead and see if we can find someone here. Uh, let's see. Um, any idea? Uh, let's see. Okay, we'll, we'll we'll give Dingo another minute here. And uh, so yeah, the game just kind of uh, is not. Um, as active anymore. Let's let's see here. Uh, specifically, there's 642 in game, uh, so that's kind of sad that it's um, it's that little. But uh, you know, everybody read the read the reviews. They watched the the videos and everything, and they saw that oh, this is just Dark Souls. Well, I've been um, watching a lot of Dark Souls uh, runs uh, recently here, and uh, speed runs and regular runs and casuals and different things and uh, well a big one is there's no gifts in both the games and the closest thing I found that's uh, very similar between the two is the box rolling rolling into boxes everybody seems to like to roll into boxes um, and that's kinda what I noticed between the two here is that that's fairly that's really the only thing that's actually similar um, there's there's nothing really that actually shares the same uh, that shares the same aesthetic. Uh, Dark Souls has pretty bad graphics uh, since it was from, you know, the Xbox 360 era. And, uh, hey Rivers, welcome. And, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. And so it's kind of sad. Um, 
that people uh, put it that way. Um, but, uh, you know, that's what it is. Oops. Uh, so, let's see here. There we go, and uh, where are we going? We are going to the Southern Friends here. Okay. So, we'll see. And uh, who knows what we're going to be coming up against, but that's the entire point. Um, we may switch out the um, uh, the uh, ice pipe for, um, for the lightning pipe. So uh, you can vary this, and that's why it can generalize, is because you have uh, the different pipes. If you don't have the different pipes, that's fine. Uh, you can... Um, just pick up a regular pipe. It, it doesn't have to be the, the different pipes. Um, it can be just any any pipe. But uh, if you can match up the uh, um, the element damage, then you will have a much, 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 much better time uh, going about that. Uh, so Dingo will, uh, has been very gracious here to uh, let us come in. Uh, hello, uh, looking good as Lynn. <laughs> uh, the greetings. Okay. Oh, that's probably true. Um, so we will switch this to uh, the lightning pipe, uh, just to give you us some, <laughs> just to give us some diversity here. And if we need to go for fire, uh, we would definitely be going for the blazing claw, as that is uh, slash fire, and the ice blood is slash ice. Um, so we have these two. Uh, we have the pipe that we get for crush, uh, and you since we're paired with with uh, Bridge to Glory all the time, uh, and we have the slashing sword here between the Ice Blood and the uh, Blazing Claw. So let's go for um, Eos, uh, and we'll show off uh, the Eos set here, um, and we'll see how we do. Okay, okay Dingo, I am ready when you are. Let's go ahead and switch to Lightning, and uh, let's, uh, let's head it off. And I'll go first just to uh, hopefully take the hits uh, so he doesn't. Uh, and what do we got here? We have three Blood Knights. Um, so these are going to be Ice. Uh, so we definitely want to go Ice. And we want to switch this to Ice Barrage and Cloak of Winter for sure. So let's go for Cleansing Light and this. And we'll go for Regenerator. Okay. And we will do... Whoops. We'll do a, uh, this so we can go for a Bridge to Glory. We'll go for a couple things here. And uh, you're being very nice, Dingo. Okay, let's go. I'll take this one over here. Uh, I got hit somehow with the rubber band. Okay. Let's give her a... a, a oh. What? Oh my goodness. Oh, good grief. Oh, the lag. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, we just got uh, decimated. <laughs> oh man, maybe maybe streaming and uh, <laughs> and trying to go to a whole different continent is uh, killing the ping. <laughs> oh man, that was uh, that was definitely something. Um, that was that was definitely something. Uh, wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> Oh man, we just got slaughtered. I'd love to see what that was like on your uh, on your end, Digo, as um, as uh, that was uh, pretty bad on this end. Uh, so uh, let me see if, uh, if we can try that one more time. <laughs> oh man, the timing on the on the uh, Blood Knight swings uh, were completely horrible, um, and uh, yeah, I obviously did not get the uh, dash on that too. Um, actually get the dodge. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, so, we may have to, uh, we may have to stick to a North American server, uh, just for the, um, convenience of, of being able to actually, uh, uh, see it, but, uh, I may, I may have to host, and, uh, then maybe you could join me, um, and, and we could see it that way. Uh, either, either way, uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll make it work. Oh, now we got this big boy. Uh, great. Can't me. <laughs> so now we can switch to fire um, and uh, lightning. Where's uh, where's Thunderbolt Impact? There we go. And we'll switch to the fire uh, fire pipe. Okay. And here we go. And we'll keep Eos going uh, just in case here. And since we have elemental wall available, that's most excellent. Oh. <laughs> 
and uh, we went down in one shot, but we didn't take any damage because of lag. Apparently, I'm in... Oh, yeah, that's right. We're invincible to ice. I forgot. There we go. So, uh, that's why we... So, again, uh, we have a 160 in... Uh, uh, we're 160 in the... Um, in the ice arena there. So, uh, we are able to completely uh, ruin his day. So, we'll switch back to ice. We'll see what we got in here. What do we got in here? We got uh, flamey boys. Uh, so let's go for back to ice here and let's go for elemental wall and we'll go for uh, drain activator so we can get some uh, health here we'll go for this fella there we go okay and uh, so uh, even if we would have gotten hit there uh, we wouldn't have taken that much damage I guess uh, let's go for an invasion maybe and uh, really wreck ourselves uh, we'll, we'll see if we can even handle that uh, so as we have um, as we have uh, lightning and ice here, uh, oh boy, let's go for a, oh, okay, they're already dead, which uh, brings a, a, an exceptional joy to my eye uh, and to my heart to know that um, <laughs> all the all the monkeys are dead. Okay, so after you, uh, Dingo, I'll go ahead and uh, prep up here and maybe go for uh, a backstab whenever you're ready. I'll try and... Uh, maybe throw somebody around here okay and uh, who knows what we're gonna get so we have a flamey pipe uh, so that's pretty bad uh, now we have ice going uh, versus this lady here which is not what we want uh, but we have uh, ice for for these ladies uh, so we need a backstab if we can get it um, nope we can't get it okay uh, oh my goodness I can't even get a backstab. Okay, there's the <laughs> there's that. So let's go for um, cleansing light. Uh, now Dingo is inhibited, so we're gonna have to keep an eye on that. Good job, Dingo. Can I get a backstab? Maybe, maybe. Hey, there we go. There we go. Okay, let's go for bridge. Okay. Okay, let's go for a barrage. Miss the barrage. Uh. I can't tell if I'm actually able to get a uh, backstab here or not. Uh, let's go for a chunky lady. Or somebody here. Okay. I, it looks like I was able to dodge that. Uh, okay. I can't get a backstab. Okay. Uh, I'm going to back up here. And um, let's go ahead and heal. Oh. Oh boy. They're both here. And I just used my heal. Okay. Oh, good grief. I can't get a backstab, <laughs> and we're gone. Oh man, sorry, Dingo. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. So yeah, with that uh, with that invasion, as that is a actually a really difficult invasion. Um, even though uh, with the lag there and unable to get backstabs, uh, that's where a large majority of the uh, damage comes from. Is that uh, since you're paired up with ice, and most enemies are weak to ice on a backstab, uh, it can completely uh, destroy, um, completely destroy any enemy. Uh, so uh, let's see. Um, well, if we if we go to any area with me, um, then uh, it's it's pretty obvious. Um, what what we need to go for uh and there won't be a boss um what's uh let's see let's get going let's see here um well let's see let's try and go for just uh the research area as this is kind of ridiculous um in how uh, in the invasion and uh with the uh, blood knights and so on and so forth that we have in here dingo you want to come uh you want to come join me? Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe you can join me, and uh, it will. Um, maybe, uh, maybe your internet will be a little bit stronger uh, joining me rather than uh, me trying to uh, join somebody else. I don't know. I don't know how the latency works um, on on these kinds of things. Uh, so. Uh, let's see here. We got Jack. Okay, whatever. Uh, send. Okay, it should be up. 
and uh, as we go through here um, there's not really any elemental resistances we need to worry about um, but uh, but running through here obviously uh, we would we would run lightning uh, or ice either one um, we can we can run ice um, since most things are ice uh, based and we'll run lightning uh, gifts so we'll run uh, ice uh, weapons and lightning Let's gifts and uh, we should be okay here and we'll wait for uh, Dingo to come in. Now this is the EOS version as uh, you know um, you can see uh, both uh, both Volley and and um, uh, EOS are basically the exact same thing if you've built it this way so if you have access to either one uh, they're fine. Hey Megatech, yeah you like that thumbnail? Uh, I, I, uh, I thought that would be an enjoyable one. Um, let's see here, uh, which which one was it? It was the praying one. She was down on one one knee, I believe. Uh, let me check. Yeah, I thought that would be kind of cool uh, as a generalist, um, just to kind of see, uh, you know, what what it would be like. Uh, so, is this? Yeah, everything's set here. Okay. Uh, okay. So we'll we'll just kill this guy for fun. Now, as we have, um, now as we have uh, twelve. Um, 12 uh, uh, regenerations available to us we should be able to um, we should be able to do uh, a lot a lot a lot of healing while at the same time keeping um, keeping uh, dingo alive uh, if, if he's if he's coming there we go okay excellent most excellent so you're in perfect uh, so as we will be going through here we will be having access to ice uh, for the uh, blood knights that we will be coming across um, and for the uh, regular adventuring folks, uh, we're going to be wanting to go lightning, um, as uh, as those fellas are, um, you know, the most problematic. So we'll go for the pipe, uh, just because we want to do some crush damage. Uh, we should be doing slash through here, but um, you know, it's it's what it is. Why hello there, Len? Okay, ready to go. It's snowing. You can't handle me. <laughs> <laughs> you have my thanks. All right, let's go. Uh, I hope the uh, latency is okay on your end. Um, I don't know if uh, if that's actually uh, going to be useful there for you or not. Um, but uh, it's it's definitely considerably much better on on this end. Uh, that's for sure. Okay, so now that we can uh, head over here, we can uh, just beat this guy down uh, very easily, and uh, we will go for. Uh, if you go that way, I'll be going around to the, um, we're going to go do the invasion over here, and uh, we're going to beat these guys down. And uh, since we have everything kind of going here, uh, we'll be able to um, defend these guys uh, very easily. And since the, we came from this direction, the invasion will come from over the little hill here, so it will give us a chance to uh, kind of, oops, it'll give us a chance to kind of um, uh, get to the enemy before uh, they get to us. Except for these dogs. Okay. Okay, and let's uh, launch this fella. Okay, <laughs> we launched him and he went way away. So that was fun. Okay, there we go. And we'll just uh, burst him down. And we'll kill these guys before they even come over the ridge. Okay. And uh, we can't uh, hit, the, hit this guy yet. But we can hit the dog, apparently. <laughs> and we can hit this guy, sort of. Okay, let's go for another uh, kill here on these guys. Uh, so as they come over the ridge, uh, we can uh, burst them all down, pretty much. Uh, so, it, oh, oh boy. Oh, she landed on me. <laughs> let's back up here. Let's go ahead and heal. As we have uh, massive amounts of heals. But we need to... Um, we need to be able to do uh, some I-Core regen here, as uh, we don't have enough to uh, help Dingo out, and we need uh, I-Core for, um, and we need I-Core for uh, uh, Bridge to Glory. So that was pretty good. Uh, sorry, Dingo. Uh, here's some health. And see, that's the nice thing about this is that uh, we can continue to heal um, our friends uh, simply because uh, we have uh, 12 heals available to us, and uh, we can heal and uh, we get massive amounts of uh, health back we get half of our health bar in uh, in one uh, in one uh, regeneration so we have uh, basically uh, 12 uh, we have uh, 12 heals 
and uh, we basically have six health bars to go for. Um, oops, I missed him. Good job, Dingo. That was a good slam. Uh, so we have uh, plenty of health available. It's just uh, whether or not we can actually execute um, to go for uh, to go for the backstabs to get the uh, I core requirements possible. Now, uh, if Dingo was the host here, uh, we would definitely be able to keep him alive with uh, modest offering, as that is um, where a uh, a large uh, availability availability here comes for us is that we have access to um, a whole lot of uh, optional um, optional abilities here to uh, help ourselves out based on uh, what kind of situations we find ourselves in. So we'll switch back to the pipe and we'll do a full clear of uh, this area. Uh, Dingo's going over there so I will go over here and kill these two fellas. And because they're weak to lightning we can uh, destroy them in, uh, in one uh, gift there which is really, really good. And we can um, burst this guy down. There we go. <laughs> okay. Yay. <laughs> okay. So we have Foul Blood Barrier, so uh, we're pretty much invincible at this point. Foul Blood Barrier is a 50% uh, reduction in, um, in damage. Uh, now we do have the Blood Knight down here that uh, we can go jump on. Uh, looks like this fella got stuck behind the ladder. Uh, so we'll encourage him to uh, find his way out. And uh, there we go. So, oh, and then he teleported out inside the ladder. Okay, that was interesting. There we go. And now she is weak to uh, ice. Uh, so we will uh, hopefully get a backstab on her. Okay, no backstab. There we go. And uh, since she's weak to ice and we have an ice veil, uh, we do more damage than normal. Okay, so now that bridge is active, okay, we can uh, go ahead and beat her down with the pipe. And uh, it's uh, always a fun time when you're uh, beating people with the pipe, as uh, you can definitely see that uh, the power is there. And uh, on the pipe now, we get about 900 from, uh, from our light value, uh, so we have really, really uh, good damage there that we can continue um, to spam out onto the enemy. Okay, so we'll go for this and gift extension. So we have some uh, extra health here that also helps out your uh, friend that you have uh, in your session uh, also. So we'll go for a backstab here. So we have health uh, available for Dingo in the event that he would uh, go down. I don't think he will, but in the event that he would. Okay. Okay. And see there, uh, because of, uh, of uh, Foul Blood Barrier, uh, we have uh, really, really good... Um, damage reduction there, thanks to Dingo. And we'll go ahead and uh, burst her down. So uh, we got 75% uh, of our health back there, which was really good. So we, we don't uh, have to worry about healing too much. But in the event that we do need to heal, uh, we have really, really, really good uh, health regeneration. I guess let's uh, head on through here, and then we'll maybe backtrack uh, later on. So we'll encourage everybody to come over here. Oh, come on. Oh, good grief. That was uh, pretty pretty ridiculous. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dingo. Uh, the lag. The lag got to him. Uh, so there, uh, if the uh, Thunderbolt impact would have actually landed, uh, we would have been... Um, we would have been knocked down three of those fellas, and, uh, and then we would have been able to... Um, uh, take on the big boys easily. Uh, so, uh, what, what what's that, Rivers? Uh, you finally ended the not playing Code Vein drought. <laughs> yeah. Welcome, welcome back. Uh, that good to hear that. Change of tactics. Yeah, no, it's not a problem, Dingo. <laughs> it was, uh, you know, Thunderbolt Impact didn't land, and uh, that was uh, that was kind of the issue there, unfortunately. Uh, but you'll see here if uh, if I can uh, get this going uh, with a couple of things here. Um, if Thunderbolt Impact lands, uh, it's completely over for these fellas. Uh, so let's go ahead in and let's try this again. There you go. So all three of them are dead. Uh, that's exactly what was supposed to happen. So this fella is here. Now we need some I core before. Um, we need Icor before uh, this fella will let us um, get um, 
get Bridge to Glory going. And this fella's uh, really excited about coming over here. And we'll take another backstab from him. Okay, and let's uh, let's head on over there. Uh, nice. Okay, so Dingo knows what's up with the killer daggers. Okay, let's head on. Let's head on back here. You join a random player's game for easy boss. <laughs> uh, I bet that uh, went over well with them. Okay, so this fella is here, and so we'll we'll kill him before uh, he knows what to do, and we'll go ahead and beat this thing a little bit. Now we need i -Course, so we'll uh, go ahead and uh, beat it with uh, Bridge to Glory there. And we'll go for a backstab on this fella. And then we will uh, go for a second backstab. First boss was the Skull King. <laughs> oh, good grief. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a little bit uh, not exactly um, getting your feet wet and starting out uh, on a new game. Dingo, you are free to uh, run ahead, kill yourself, kill everyone, do something, whatever you wish. Uh, there are no restrictions here. Uh, uh, as you see, uh, we're just going to be um, taking damage and kind of discussing everything. Okay. And, and this fella, these guys are dead because Dingo killed them with, with daggers. Look at that. Len is just tearing the enemies a new one. Most excellent. Uh, so in here we've got these fellas, um, and uh, since we are continuing to run the pipe, you saw there on this fella we did 1500 damage almost. Um, so uh, any any point in time that we uh, have access to backstabs, uh, we get massive I core regeneration. Now this does have that uh, simple issue of the fact that um, oh we're going up here. It does have that uh, that problem with it that it doesn't have uh, massive amounts of I core recovery. But uh, that's why um, uh, that's why uh, Br uh, Bridge to Glory is fairly cheap. Um, uh, the uh, the um, Barrage gifts is are fairly cheap, um, but uh, everything else is fairly cheap, and uh, so we we have a a really good way to um, go about getting getting damage out on the enemy. And uh, in the event that we get surrounded and we have a uh, clear opening to go for um, Thunderbolt Impact, uh, we can clear the surround uh, no problem easily and effectively. So we'll head on up here because we kind of get ambushed. And it's another another way to show uh, Thunderbolt Impact and its usefulness. There we go. Okay. Now uh, everybody's ganging up on us here. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh my goodness, I died? What? Oh man. <laughs> uh, we got bodied into a corner there and couldn't figure it out. Good grief. <sighs> so, yeah. This as the generalist build, uh, it is definitely, um, uh, it is definitely a, uh, it is definitely a very good, um, a very good setup, but uh, it's all down to execution. And uh, it's just a, it's just a kind of goofy, a goofy way to go about this. Um, if you if you've had trouble uh, playing with friends, uh, it it works um, better if you join someone else's game, uh, simply because of the fact that um, uh, they they will have a, a, a better input uh, lag, and uh, compared to uh, what you're doing, and uh, typically the uh, enemies um, aggro the host. Okay, and uh, so that's what I was uh, planning on. Okay, well, let's go for a launch. Oh, come on. <laughs> let's go for a launch. Good grief, these guys uh, just uh, have attack animations uh, through through all of our uh, attacks here. Let's go ahead and heal one. Okay, so you see there, uh, we got back half our health, or more than half our health. Uh, sorry, Dingo. Uh, you came into a uh, monstrosity there of a nightmare, uh, but uh, Ishtar will be nice for me, um, and uh, it will uh, enable me to do things like this and heal you so I can heal myself with the massive amounts of healing that we have. And we'll go ahead and plunge this lady. Nice. So there's 11,000 between the two of us uh, from the, uh, from the uh, slashes uh, and the plunge attacks. 
Okay, so let's go for a uh, sympathetic boon here and uh, heal up uh, heal up Dingo. Okay, and uh, here we're coming around the corner, so we kill every. Uh, so that's the problem with uh, Thunderbolt Impact is it has a, a pretty long startup animation there, and if you can't get it off, then uh, you will be interrupted uh, very quickly, and it's very 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 unfortunate if you are interrupted. Uh, because it's a massive uh, light scaler with at the same time um, you you uh, aren't able to uh, um, get that off in time in order to uh, to do the damage uh, so it can become uh, very very problematic uh, okay so we're just uh, gonna beat her uh, within an inch of her life there uh, so that's nice well, let's go and kill the dogs so there you go 7,000 uh, so it I mean, it is a monster of a damage uh, ability here. It's just uh, depending on, um, you know, whether or not we're actually able to execute it and hit the ground in order to um, make ourselves useful. Okay, so let's go for her. And we'll go for a backstab as we've kind of damaged these enemies in these areas uh, several times. There we go. And we'll, we'll head on over uh, this way. And uh, Dingo maybe will go do a boss uh, to kind of show off some of the bossing ability. See, now we don't have uh, Thunderbolt Impact uh, active, uh, but we have this guy, this guy coming over. Okay, let's uh, dodge on here and go for a Thunderbolt Impact now. Okay, and now we got Big Boy. Now he does four swings, and I got hit by one of them there. But uh, we'll go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and heal. And let's give Dingo some health. There we go. And let's go ahead and heal again. So that's the really, really great thing about having um, Regenerator active. Uh, you get that wonderful, wonderful 60% uh, increase in health um, because of uh, because of Regenerator and improved regeneration. So we are able to absolutely keep um, keep Dingo going here with health. Um, as uh, you know, oh, he's getting health back. So we don't need to worry about him uh, at the moment, uh, but we will uh, we will definitely keep an eye on it. And that's also where it's uh, this build actually uh, is beneficial as well, is that um, you you can uh, help heal uh, your friends as well as um, you know damaging the enemy and everything as well. Okay. Okay. And uh, since. Dingo is hurt. We will go ahead and heal everybody. And I don't know if that healing took. Uh, it didn't look like it took on his health bar there. Um, that's really unfortunate. Uh, so let's go ahead and heal. Okay, Dingo, uh, thank you for, for your time here. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, quit this and we'll head on to Adepts. Um, and uh, we'll do, um, let's see, uh, which boss should we do? Um, Let's go for let's go for Nicola since um, we have uh, the invincibility to ice. Uh, this will be the kind of the best case scenario here, and there's a couple invasions in here and different things. Um, and uh, this can also show the one case scenario where you would use a flame barrage uh, attached to uh, attached to this build setup here. Okay, and let's see. Um, Okay, and uh, who do we want to pick up with us? Uh, we'll switch back to the uh, volley, and we'll go for the f uh, flame pipe in here, and we'll go for the, um, where is it, uh, the blazing claw, as those will be uh, what we'll be uh, interested in here. And uh, since we don't have um, a fire crush gift that's light, uh, we're going to keep um, Thunderbolt Impact for this kind of an area. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, uh, get... Um, uh, dingo in here and again uh, we will have uh, access to full invincibility for ice so the boreal brutes and those folks and everything will be um, completely uh, nullified against us in fact let's head down head down this way okay and uh, as you can see um, uh, we will be uh, able to completely ruin these guys and see there, uh, we don't do any damage with our um, with our pipe. That's okay, Dingo. Take your time. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of talk through here. And uh, as you see, we have both fire weapons. 
uh, while, while at the same time Thanks. we have access to uh, perfect invincibility here for uh, ice while at the same time uh, being able to do uh, really good damage 1200 is is pretty good for um, a one-handed sword it's not uh, you know the most amazing thing in the world but it's definitely uh, up there on the useful case now this guy uh, he's uh, weak to fire obviously but um, he and he resists ice but we do we do really good damage um, there with uh, with um, flame barrage and the slashing of the blazing claw. Now, as you see, um, uh, what is that? Elemental wall runs out uh, fairly quick, but uh, since we're paired up with Eva here, we will be able to activate our gifts um, frequently and effectively. Okay, so Len has showed up, most excellent. Now we're going to be doing the uh, double boys here, uh, as these uh, fellas are um, problematic to say the least. And uh, let's uh, let's go forward uh, with this, and we'll go for uh, this, and let's go. Okay. Now uh, this fellow is going to be throwing snowballs here. Okay. There we go. We'll go for a flame barrage, and we'll try and get a backstab here. No, no uh, backstab. Okay. We'll just go ahead and slash this fella, and see there, we are completely invincible, which is excellent. No, you need to stop that. None of that, uh, none of that kind of stuff. Oh, Eva's down, so we'll go uh, get her back. And uh, can I get the backstab? Nope. Oh, Len's down. Uh, he should be back though. Let's go for a flame barrage. Ooh, sorry, Dingo. Uh, elemental wall was over. There we go. Okay, let's uh, get his uh, armor off here. There we go. Oh, you don't need to worry about me. Uh, elemental wall is up. Okay. Okay, let's go for this. Let's go for bridge. Okay. These, these fellas are getting crazy here. Let's go for the pipe. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go get Eva back, and let's go ahead and heal. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Oh man, Eva, Eva, you got him. There you go. Good. Oh, there we go. The ice uh, hit us, but it didn't uh, hurt us. Okay. And I don't think we can launch these fellas when they have uh, ice armor on. Okay. Let's see. Nope but we definitely took his uh, ice armor off. Oh, we're getting pushed around again. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. There we go. Let's go ahead and heal another one. Okay. Okay, we'll take his ice armor off. We'll just uh, start bashing our way through here. Go for a flame barrage. Okay. Okay. Now his role is uh, physical attack. Uh, as opposed to um, as opposed to ice damage. Now, when he does that roll, uh, that is uh, ice. Or that is uh, ice uh, damage. Okay, let's go for a flame barrage. And they were chunking his health down. <laughs> so that was uh, that was a uh, a uh, kind of crazy uh, episode there. Uh, good job, Dingo. <laughs> Do you want to come with me, though? <laughs> oh, man. And uh, that warrants uh, this kind of a thing. Let's drink some water. Thanks. Is that all you've got? <laughs> uh, so, um, it's uh, nice if... Um, uh, if uh, Cleansing Light is active, it's nice to uh, have Sympathetic Boon uh, for your partner, but in the... In the uh, interest of uh, having a cooldown of only 12 seconds um, it's more uh, beneficial to go for a modest offering as you want to be able to get your uh, friend up as much as possible uh, rather than uh, giving them large amounts of health as uh, that cooldown is uh, very very beneficial but uh, we will go for uh, the best way to help out uh, Dingo here and myself as well because having, uh, having Dingo around uh, definitely helps Okay, so uh, we will uh, head on over here to this fella first, and go for him. 
and okay now this fellow is going to go for a big swing but we will put him down and uh, that's where uh, you're knowing your openings uh, can definitely be useful and beneficial now uh, the difference again that I've seen between this and Dark Souls is that you have a lot more versatility in how your character is built and how your character moves and uh, what they do um, in Dark Souls it's kind of like you do the one thing and uh, and you kind of just do that um, there's not a whole lot of build diversity that I've seen uh, obviously I know nothing about the game as I've never played it um, but just from the little bit I've seen uh, Code Vein has a, an extreme diversity of library here in uh, everything that you can pick up and choose to, to use, whereas uh, Dark Souls is kind of like uh, it, it does that one thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some of these. Uh, Dingo's good on health and everything, uh, so that's good, and uh, we'll hopefully keep him that way. And he's gonna throw snowballs again. Can I get a backstab? Nope. No backstab? No backstab? There we go. Now this fella has uh, monstrous amounts of uh, health, but uh, we can go ahead and uh, burn him down pretty quick. And uh, Dingo's staggering him uh, most of the time there with the uh, with the um, uh, right click, uh, you know, heavy attack. And uh, we're continuing to uh, put on the pressure there um, uh, with the flame barrage. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. <laughs> he he was our uh, he was our fun time uh, beat him up. Uh, so it's interesting that uh, you know you can uh, absolutely with this setup here uh, you do have the ability to put on the pressure and it looks weird uh, using the pipe but because it has um, because it has uh, crush damage it has the ability to stagger most enemies in the game more often than uh, other enemies so it's a it's a really good option as it's a one-handed and it gives you uh, the ability to, to dash as well now uh, if you don't want to go for elements and you just want to go for the regular pipe uh, you can pick up just a regular pipe and uh, you know do the same the same effectivity uh, against the enemy if not more um, and uh, the, the reason being just that the fact that uh, you know it doesn't matter um, if you don't know the uh, damage or the resistances of uh, of your enemies, and uh, you just want to go for straight up damage um, and ignore resistances and all that, that's completely fine. Um, but uh, it is fun to uh, have the different pipes, and since they are in the game and everything, um, you know we can uh, pick those up and use them effectively. So let's go for regenerator and elemental wall. There we go. Oh, a freezing cartridge, how nice. Um, now this fell, or we already picked that up, uh, whoops, uh, as we've been through here already. Uh, so we will get Cleansing Light going and a couple of items uh, as these guys have the uh, ice mist that they uh, throw forward and we have the second worst enemy of the game, the balls, uh, as uh, nobody likes the balls. Um, and I especially do not. And there's his ice mist, it's coming here, okay. We'll go for this. Oh, and we're already getting hit by balls. And we'll just uh, burst him down uh, <laughs> uh, quickly. And uh, let's go for Nicola now. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so you can see that if you are the host um, and you're just uh, doing random fair, fairly you know, useful adventuring, um, this setup here is uh, it, it has an answer for pretty much everything except uh, blood as that is the uh, very 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 specialized uh, use case of um, you know what you would go for but uh, anytime you're going for any other setup here um, you know with any other enemy or any of that uh, you're definitely going to be able to do uh, really really good damage now for Nicola it's a special use case as well as he's uh, only weak to uh, ice pierce or uh, fire pierce um, so we are going to uh, pick up ourselves here with all these things and uh, aside from his uh, shield bashes and so on and so forth, uh, we should be able to uh, do really good damage here uh, in spite of uh, what he is. And let's go ahead and switch to the Blazing Claw. And let's get uh, Bridge going. Now let's get up here and get some uh, I-Core back. Okay, there we go, there we go. And uh, because we're doing uh, Pierce damage, he will um, 
he will fall down and stagger. There we go. Now we need some I Corp. There we go. There we go. And uh, Dingo should be having uh, really good ice resistance now as well. Uh, we're running out of uh, elemental wall, so that's uh, really bad. Okay, there goes Dingo. And dodge. Now we need some I-Core here. There we go. And we need um, enough I-Core for uh, elemental wall. Okay, there we go. Okay, and dodge. Oh, sorry Dingo. But thank you for uh, deliverance. There we go. And uh, I'll get you some help here in a second. There we go. Okay. Now we need 10 I core. And uh, we don't have it, so we'll go for elemental wall. As that will help us uh, considerably. There we go. Okay. Now he's going to jump up in the air and dodge. Now you can see that with both uh, the pipe and the blazing claw, uh, the other reason why this uh, works. Uh, is because um, the Blazing Claw also uh, allows us um, uh, allows us uh, quick dodging. There we go, and there goes Nicola. So we'll get a good look at uh, Len here, and the boys, or the girls, they're all the girls. Now, does it uh, actually kick you out? I think it does. <laughs> oh, this will be a good, a good shot here. Uh, oh, not in time. Okay, um, but you can see here if you're running volley, uh, you're at f exactly 50 pounds. Um, so the, uh, this setup here, it uh, completely um, uses uh, uses all the um, ability that you have uh, in the game to uh, you know do um, a different setup. So let's go for the Arachnid Grotto. Yeah, that was sad that. Uh, you know that that um, <laughs> actually didn't set up there correctly, but maybe we can do it here uh, with with uh, this setup. Now, as we're in the Arachnid Grotto here, we we can we need to go for um, Ice Pierce, and uh, we can absolutely um, switch to that uh, and switch for that. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, send a send a distress signal. So uh, again, if you're uh, if you have access to volley in any way. Um, because of the DLC, I highly recommend it, um, as it is a uh, really, 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 really good um, generalist kind of uh, setup here that you can go for, and uh, you have really, really good damage overall. Um, and let's go for Cloak of Winter. Hi V, uh, are you, are you King or V or uh, what have you? Um, not exactly sure how to how to uh, respond. But uh, welcome. Uh, we're kind of going through the uh, generalist setup here, and uh, we've we've done a couple of things, and we had to. Um, okay, it is you. Okay, good. Uh, that way I know who I'm talking to. Okay. Uh, okay, Dingo. Let's uh, let's set up a photo op here. Um, I would love to do it in 4K, um, but uh, let's see. Um, how do I? Uh, can I? Do I have my controls here? Yeah. There we go. Okay. Um, I, now does it uh, allow you to take your mask off? Okay, excellent. Now I have no idea if you are actually actually uh, um, animated in your screen too as well. I'm not exactly sure how that goes. Uh, let's get Eva, let's get a frame here, the typical code vein. Um, my pose, uh, we'll do long. Uh, what should Eva do? Yes, she should be swinging that, and I'm going to sit down as well, um, uh, or, or we could fall to knees. <laughs> We're all uh, taking a break here. Okay. And Eva's uh, watching over the ladies here. Okay. Nice. Okay. Well, that's a low resolution uh, picture there, but uh, you know, it's what it is. Okay, so as we're here in the in the grotto, um, again, everything in here is weak to ice pierce, uh, so we will uh, head on down this way. And uh, if you notice, this one is the nice one uh, that uh, that gives the uh, beautiful area. So we'll we'll head over there next. Uh, so in here, uh, we probably won't be making too much use of elemental wall, but uh, but 
but the nice thing is is that uh, we don't really need it um, because uh, you know nothing in here is going to be doing problems to us except these uh, these dumb little shooters here uh, they are going to be um, you know doing blood damage now again since we get plus 62 to our items here or to our uh, our resistances here because of elemental wall uh, being so high on light uh, we're able to uh, defend most of the damage from these things and and this is just a dead end uh, where you get the key uh, really I'm actually inspiring you to get back into the game well, that's that's great. Um, I think I think uh, again. You know, I still think that there's tons to do in the game, and uh, you know, finding out uh, different things um, in order to you know take the game a, a lot farther. As here, uh, you know, like I said uh, at the beginning of the video, this was kind of a dream. Um, now this fella is weak to uh, lightning, so we will uh, just switch for lightning, uh, just because of whatever you know. But uh, if we can get the backstab and he doesn't hit us off the edge, uh, we'll see here. Hi, Red. Uh, good to see you. Um, uh, oh, we didn't quite put him down. Okay. And uh, Lightning Barrage uh, absolutely ends this fella. Good job, Lynn. I'm glad you didn't uh, fall down. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't fall down the pits there. Uh, that is a, a very problematic area. How's it going, Red? I saw you were streaming earlier. I, I'm going to uh, head over and watch that uh, probably probably tomorrow. Um, I was kind of sad that uh, uh, as I started, I saw that you were on, and I was like, oh, I'm going to go watch whatever you're doing. Uh, but uh, I wanted to get this out, so um, I hope, uh, I hope uh, it's, it's up and uh, ready to go uh, later, as I, I know there's been some delays here on YouTube and stuff, so uh, I, hope, I hope that went well over there for you. Um, okay, so uh, as we're uh, heading into this area, we'll just get our regular uh, kind of healing buffs going. We'll get bridge going, and uh, we'll, we'll see uh, what we can do. And again, because this is so generalized, I mean, it has no, um, you know, specific do this this way, um, because it is completely uh, generalized uh, to be every enemy uh, in every way uh, in the game. Okay, and we'll go for a cloak of winter. And we'll just uh, smash him. Okay, and uh, mess around with the builds a, a bit and learn more about the game. Yeah, there's there's so much in the game uh, that uh, that's one that's really the reason why I wanted to start running the game was because there are so many multipliers and so many things uh, that actually you know are put into the game here that uh, you know make for a really 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 bizarre um, kind of setups and everything and uh, it's really important to instead of just pick up Atlas and the uh to actually play the game the way it should be played uh, it's completely um, completely different now this area here I just love this pool uh, I think this is the most uh, beautiful area in the entire game um, I think this this setup here is just just incredible that's right. I have that too. That was a bit rough. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, right there. We'll just take a picture of that. How nice. That's really cool. And from the back, uh, let's get another one. Kind of looking up at the. Oh my, Eva, you're you're kind of in the way there, girl. Okay, this is a this is a nice one right there. Okay, those are fun action photos. Okay, so uh, this area, if you ever get into the Erecting Grotto, um, this area is just, it's really cool with how uh, high up the, um, the hole goes, uh, up there all the way to the surface, uh, and it has these tendrils that come down into the pool and have that iridescent glow. Um, it's, it's really cool. You've been raging a little bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, sometimes uh, when you get up against those uh, really, really difficult bosses or enemies or or setups or whatever um you know it can be it can be problematic uh as uh, as you uh no doubtedly noticed uh here on my uh playthroughs of the game uh it uh it's very problematic i don't know where i'm going dingo sorry <laughs> show me the way okay uh but the uh there um the the math behind uh the game is what actually got me into the game in the first place um, I've never played a Souls game. I've never seen one. 
uh, in detail. Um, I've never actually run through any of those games, and uh, you know, it for for me, um, it just looked kind of slow and cumbersome. But uh, then I got to Code Vein, and it's much faster and uh, much more involved uh, in the uh, setups and everything. And that's one. Uh, that's the main reason why I got into it in the first place. Uh, was because of that exact reason, um, and it's a lot more fast-paced, and uh, and there's so much build diversity um, with the uh, with the blood codes that you have access to. Uh, I did the I did the statistics one time. I don't remember off the top of my head, but it's like um, you know you have a, a near infinite um, you have a near infinite chance to uh, you know actually do anything. Okay, let's pick this up. It's a huge hammer, and we'll do this invasion because uh, you know, let's uh, let's see uh, Dingo's uh, sword be put to good use here uh, to stagger enemies and uh, destroy everybody. Okay. Oh, I missed him. There we go. And we'll do a cloak of winter. We'll put some people down here. Now, uh, cloak of winter is really really good to. Um, uh, cloak of winter is really good when you get surrounded and the enemies are spawning in like uh, this over here, I couldn't get there fast enough, but uh, yeah, if you were good at math, you'd probably enjoy this a lot more, uh, maybe, maybe not, um, but that that is the whole point of, of why I wanted to go for, um, you know, kind of making this game more accessible to everyone, and showing, you know, like the Cuphead journalist guy, you know, that, uh, you know, he couldn't even dash up uh, one little area where it even told him what buttons to to do, you know, that kind of stuff, it's like, okay, whatever, he's just weird anyways, but uh, for for the just the regular people that want to play and enjoy it and uh, have access to the game, um, the game is kind of gated in a way behind a lot of these systems and mechanics, and unless you have, uh, you know, a notebook and a pencil, and you're actually sitting down, excuse me, uh, doing all of the calculations, and you're looking at what everything does, uh, so on and so forth, it's kind of kind of not accessible uh, so, that's, so that was uh, the big reason why I wanted to go for um, you know running the game for for folks uh, so here again we have the the chunky boy who is uh, lightning all the way so uh, lightning slash but uh, we'll go for ice crush um, and uh, do no damage versus him basically but uh, we'll go for a backstab and uh, we'll, we'll just uh, put him down here there we go good job Okay, so pretty easy, uh, but <laughs> you're right, Dingo. Uh, it it may have been a mistake. <laughs> no, um, but uh, now that you can't handle me, you want to bet? <laughs> um, I've heard a lot of people uh, be sad about the there no, there are no PVP in here, um, but I think the game uh, is not set up in such a way uh, to to do PVP because uh, I think everyone would just run in with Radiant Barrel and one-shot their opponent, and uh, it would be like, well, that was that was dumb. Whoever's uh, Radiant Barrel got off first, uh, you know, it would be the end of the Revenant. Um, and it's like, well, is that really what you, uh, you know, is that really, you know, where the fun is in the game? I, I don't know. It's not for me. Um, but, uh, you know, it's different strokes for different folks, I guess. Um, so in here, uh, versus this fella, it's definitely um, Ice Pierce all the way. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it should uh, go fairly well. There we go. One, two. Oh, good stagger. Oh, come on, I was away from that. Okay, let's go for Elemental Wall for Dingo and I. There we go. Let's get some i back here as we're running out of uh, huge amounts of i here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, he's going for Dingo. Okay, he'll put us down, but that's okay. And because we, um, and because we have blood resist uh, from the elemental wall, we are able to, um, we're able to take him out pretty easily uh, there. I should try a Souls game out. Uh, maybe. Um, they definitely seem a lot slower um, than. Uh, they definitely seem a lot slower than uh, Code Vein. Um, 
uh, well, may maybe I, maybe I will uh, sometime in the future. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see. Um, but uh, go out of order. <laughs> So, so the thing that uh, with the Souls game is it is a um, is it is a calculated uh, set of execution abilities, and as you've seen from my channel, uh, execution ability is not uh, where my strong suit lies at all. Um, I'm I'm more of you know just the the dummy cerebral player, uh, where where I'd prefer to uh, you know just think about it <laughs> rather than do anything about it. Um, but, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe that's, uh, something that I'll have to, uh, look into in the future. Um, but, uh, who, who knows? Uh, so let's go for White Mia, as she will give us, uh, a double gift extension here, uh, paired up with our own gift extension, so we won't need, uh, this gift extension anymore. Um, and it, and it would be nice to go for, uh, something like, uh, Cognitive Zeal or, or one of these, um, but, uh, yeah, sure. Let's go for hunting feast, and we'll uh, pick up the uh, pick up the gift extension from uh, Mia here. Now we're gonna have a little bit slower gift time, uh, mm, and uh, what do we need for this? We need a willpower of B. Um, what's through here? There's nothing through here, so we'll go for antibody uh, antibody gener uh, generation, and we will go for. Um, Mm, let's see. So yeah, so so we'll just uh, we'll we'll keep that hunting feast. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's such a that's such a funny uh, a funny voice paired up with that. How many hours? Uh, I am uh, just now going to be crossing uh, seven hundred. Um, uh, where's where's my time? Um, Where's my time? Uh, I, be I believe I'm, I'm like, like 6.98, so I'm, I'll be crossing uh, 700 here in, in a little bit. And, um, you know, I still have a long ways to go uh, before I'm, you know, a pro at anything um, on this. Uh, but, uh, you know, I definitely, I definitely enjoy the game. Okay. And uh, we'll head on through here. Now, since we are able to... Um, uh, do uh, ice damage and everybody in here is weak to ice um, we're able to uh, um, get massive amounts of damage on the enemy and we'll go for it. antibody generation now that will bring up our uh, in our uh, leak to 105 and it will also uh, I believe I, I don't think it helps dingo um, which is why I prefer elemental wall as that does uh, resistances but uh, you know okay And we just uh, beat these guys down uh, very, very easily, uh, especially when they get the stagger from the uh, Argent King Wolf Blade, and uh, then getting the ice damage from me. Um, okay, so now in here we have slimes. What would make me a pro? Uh, if if you get to 10,000 hours, that's when you become pro at uh, something, um, and uh, I'll I won't be. Oh, good grief, guys. Come on, stop with the stun. Uh, I won't be to 10,000 hours like ever. Um, so, uh, once I get to 10,000 hours, then I would definitely be a pro. It's uh, typically five years of a full-time job is a, uh, is a pro at something. Um, but, uh, you know, nobody's going to play for 10,000 hours. Um, but I def And as there's no way for any one human or even, even the entire human race, uh, if everybody played... Um, code vein for a hundred years um, there's no way that you would ever see every single build that's possible in code vein um, and uh, it you know there's just so much build diversity um, so and and that's what keeps me coming back is that you know I've never played this build this way uh, with this in mind before and uh, you know I'm able to put it together and think about it and uh, you know build it and play it and uh, it definitely changes the way the game goes. And uh, again, if if this is uh, you know dependent on um, on me and and just solo playing through the game, uh, or if uh, or if it depends on um, you know whether I'm going to be 
playing with friends or uh, you know how that goes about um, so there's there's a million and one ways to play Code Vein, uh, whether you do it solo, level, wh whether you do it level one, whether you do it with friends, whether you do it, you know, however you go about doing it, um, it definitely changes every time you play, and uh, it changes uh, either for the better or for the worse, and that's the whole point of, uh, you know, figuring out these, uh, these crazy ideas here uh, to ensure that you're able to... Um, uh, that you're able to, uh, you know, play the game in a very different way than you've either seen or that you wanted to before or something like that. So, um, that's, wh that's why I enjoy the game so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's switch the pipe. Let's go for the pipe beatdown. There we go. Okay, so this guy is uh, very, very, very gimmicky. Um, as he uh, definitely, um, you know, <laughs> can uh, drain all your i core very quickly, um, and uh, you know he's just kind of cheap in that way. Now uh, Dingo's hurt, so we'll go ahead and uh, give him some health, uh, since uh, why not? You know, I mean we've got we've got monsters amounts of uh, health regen here, uh, so we might as well. Okay, uh, and we'll uh, uh, I forget which one we've been down. I think we haven't been down the final one on the right here. So that's kind of, that's kind of, uh, you know, just again, this is all my opinion, uh, you know, everybody can feel free to agree or disagree, but, uh, you know, I've, I've not uh, gotten anywhere near uh, some of the people who've gotten like thousands of hours into the game already at this point, and the game's only been out for like seven months, eight months, and, or whatever, and, um, okay, Dingo, you ready for this? Uh, but uh, it's definitely um, useful. <laughs> Nah. We'll, we'll be fine, Dingo. There we go. And we'll grab his uh, uh, nutsack there and pull that out. That's very nice. Okay, this fella is trying to figure out what's going on. I don't think I can hit him. Okay. Uh, let's uh, put him down. So, uh, you know, this is just uh, uh, kind of what I've discovered as I've played Vayne. Um, it, uh, you know, definitely changes in, uh, in a very different way, um, and, uh, I got a suggestion to play, you know, what would you do for a solo build, uh, if you were to play through the game again? Well, I had never thought about that, and I never did that, so I was like, well, I don't know, what would I do? Um, so I started investigating, and, uh, you know, it's a completely, completely, completely different way to play the game than, uh, what I'm doing currently. Um, okay, Dingo, get ready. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's just, uh, the nature of, uh, of, of the game and how it, uh, and how it goes. Okay, let's, uh, beat this fella into the ground. There we go. And let's get a... Oh, he ruined my, um, he ruined my, uh, Cloak of Winter here. There we go. Okay, and let's head on out here, go for Ninja Boy. Oh no. Okay. Okay, now we need some I core here, because we're kinda running out. Um uh, Where is it? Oh, there he is. Uh, okay. Let's uh, go ahead and kill these guys. Now Cloak of Winter is extremely strong, uh, but it uh, it definitely suffers uh, from the timing. Uh, as it is a very slow startup. Okay, I see your question. Uh, just uh, give me a sec here, uh, not to die. Okay, so let me heal. And there's half our health bar uh, in one heal. And let's go ahead and heal up Mia. Okay, and that's the beauty of uh, of having 12 heals uh, at um, you know at this point in the game. And and we can go ahead and heal. Okay, uh, well, thing I'll challenge you on this. If there are billions of builds, does that mean that the developers made it so that nobody could ever play them all in a lifetime? Now, I can't speak to what Bandai was intending. Uh, obviously, they were intending to get into the Souls market uh, somehow, some way, and uh, they definitely uh, accomplished that. I'm not um, so sure. <laughs> you're not so sure about this, uh, the shooter boss? Uh, well, we'll be fine, Dingo. Don't worry. We will be fine. Uh, let's go for this and this um now i don't know um if that was their intent was to you know 
take over the Souls market or whatever, but uh, they definitely made a big splash, and uh, they made it in a very good way, in my opinion. Oh boy. Um, now the problem is... Um, uh, okay, let's go ahead and heal, as we have uh, lots of incoming damage here. Oh, good grief. Okay, now we're out of i -Corp. And we're out of health almost. Okay, so that would have been a good time to uh, to go for um, that would have been a good time to go for elemental wall rather than antibody generation, but uh, oh well. So uh, I don't know I don't know their intent of you know why they put this much uh, build diversity in here. Maybe they thought well everybody will figure out the one shots and uh, then they'll be done with the game and then we can move on to the next one. I mean maybe that was the design choice. I have no idea. Um, maybe the design choice was, you know, I, I, I just don't know. Um, it's kind of interesting how they, how they went about it, uh, for sure. But, um, um, that's, that was their choice. Okay, so now in here, Dingo, Ice Slash, if you got it. Um, and, uh, and you should be fine to, uh, continue to, uh, stagger her down. But, uh, I'm going to be in a very rough way here, as, uh, we, we are going to not uh, be paired correctly for her at all uh, so that's okay uh, but here we go so you know maybe they uh, maybe they wanted you to be invested for a very long time maybe they didn't know um, what the reception would be and they just thought let's give it a first go um, and see what the community says if uh, if people uh, enjoy enjoy the game or not and then uh, see see where we go from there I don't know now see, um, Ice Pierce is doing uh, almost no damage to her, as uh, we need to be doing Ice uh, Slash, but uh, that's not what we have available. But because we have the Ice Blood, uh, we are able to do Ice Slash to a certain extent. Okay, and uh, let's back up. Let's go for this. Good. Let's go for a Cloak of Winter, as it's uh, pretty good damage. And let's keep the uh, ice slash going. We need to dodge that. And let's go through some. Oh, okay. And we definitely need to uh, get cleansing light. And we'll go, go ahead and heal so we don't get uh, annihilated here in one hit, as uh, this is very problematic. Here's, a, here's her explosion. Good. And let's get our ice slash going again here. Good. There we go. Yay! <laughs> so, you know, I, I mean, they, they probably wanted to, you know, get past the uh, Cuphead idiot um, as much as possible, you know. Um, but, uh, you know, that I, I'm not exactly sure why they did it that way. But let's go ahead and drink some water, that I know for sure. So our exploration is going okay? Okay, and to show um, a little bit more here about... Uh, uh, how kind of diverse this is. Let's go do the Butterfly and the Town of Sacrifice as that is, uh, you know, a very problematic area. So you can you can pick any place in the game. You can pick um, you can pick any uh, any group of enemies, any boss, anything and uh, you can uh, basically run through it um, with these uh, three weapons. A pipe, the ice blood, and the um, uh, excuse me, the Blazing Claw, and uh, we'll send a Distress Signal, and let's uh, switch up our partner here. And as you can see uh, from the partners, um, it really doesn't matter who you pick, um, all of them are good. Uh, we'll go for Mia, as this will give us uh, um, uh, a stack of um, uh, Blood Sucking Blades, and plus uh, Mia's outfit looks uh, pretty good there. Okay, and uh, I don't want to do the butterfly first, so Dingo has a chance to actually uh, run and gun with us here. We'll switch to the Thunderbolt pipe. Uh, and again, you know, if you don't have any of the pipes, you can just go for the regular pipes, or, or just the regular pipe. Um, either way, uh, the damage isn't, um, you know, dependent, but it does definitely help to uh, to have the, um, the elemental matchups. But uh, since we will be going for regular adventuring, uh, we're going to be uh, paired up here with all the lightning things uh, first. And here uh, we'll go back to Elemental Wall 
and we'll go back to gift extension. There we go. And uh, this will help us uh, get here, through here considerably. Okay, and uh, ready, Dingo? Let's go. Uh, best support characters for each scenario or boss. Uh, so that's kind of what I intended from the... Uh, um, that's kind of what I intended the uh, speed kill lists to be, is um, showing you kind of some of the most optimal ways uh, to go about um, doing each of the bosses. Um, as uh, there are many, 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 many ways to uh, put all of the all of the bosses down, and uh, you know there's so many different ways. I thought it would be nice to have a uh, different variety for each of the each of the bosses and and uh, what they uh, require to put down. Um, and uh, you can watch uh, any of those uh, in the in the speed kills category. Um, to, to determine um, what's a good build and what you should do. Okay, Dingo is uh, definitely wrecking face there. Oh, good grief. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. We are uh, having some issues here. Let's go ahead and heal. Um, and let's give Dingo some health because he's got deliverance going. And let's go for some more health. Uh, since we have all the heals, uh, we'll uh, we'll keep uh, Dingo going here, and uh, we'll just let him, uh, you know, destroy everybody, and keep us alive as well with Deliverance. Uh, so when you join someone's game and and they have Deliverance, um, they are just your uh, best friend. Oh boy. Okay. Come on, get away. Uh, so these inv this invasion here is the uh, worst one in the game. Let's go ahead and heal, and uh, we'll get uh, Dingo some health here in a second. But uh, right now we gotta uh, get uh, back here and go for a backstab if we can. Okay, okay, we'll kill that guy, and let's go for this fella. Good. And now we got uh, Chunky Lady here, uh, and she is weak to uh, Lightning Slash. As we have no Lightning Slash, uh, we definitely do though have Lightning Pierce which is great, and we can just beat her down with the pipe. Okay, so let's uh, heal and, and go for Dingo. There we go. As we have uh, mountains of HP regeneration here, uh, we are not going to go do the monkeys. Um, so let's go ahead and pure blood here, just for why not. Okay, and let's kill these guys. There we go. So that's how uh, that's how fun uh, Thunderbolt Impact can be. Um, now, uh, just as a personal side note here, uh, V, um, you definitely always want to go for Eva, as she's the, uh, the best character in the game. <laughs> uh, I know that's controversial. Everybody uh, picks Eva whenever they have a chance, but uh, for me, it's uh, definitely Eva. As, uh, as her story is, um, you know, absolutely uh, top tier. And we'll just go ahead and... Uh, chop this lady down here. Okay, good. And uh, you can see here that we uh, definitely can keep up with the enemy uh, in every way. Okay, let's go for a launch. Aw, oh, Dingo stole my launch. <laughs> uh, okay, so then as we head up in here to uh, into the uh, boss area here, it's uh, gonna go fairly quick um, because obviously Dingo has an entire health bar waiting for us. Um, he's got double um, double uh, Iron Will going from the Damarung and Iron Will as, as well. But then we can do this and put those fellas down. And we'll get a backstab and go for some piping here on this fella. There we go. So, yeah. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Uh, so we're getting some Marks of Honor here. Uh, why is Eva the best? Dingo, you like Eo? I know. Uh, why is Eva the best? Eva's the best because... Uh, she's Eva, and uh, she wears a red dress, and she's Eva, and, um, um, uh, okay, you're cornering me here with uh, all these hard questions, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, Eva's, Eva's the best, um, because she gives you a stack of gift prowess, so she speeds up your gifts by 15%, um, and also, uh, her communal uh, just completely breaks the game. Uh, just absolutely destroys the game. And uh, it, in more ways than uh, than you would think, um, as it uh, is very, 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 very good 
uh, especially when you're paired up here with um, Bridge to Glory. Uh, I made a video about that um, uh, in the Road to 100 on the uh, immense amount of um, uh, light damage that you can get. You can get higher light damage uh, than uh, almost uh, dark damage. Uh, just almost. It's, it's not quite. But uh, you can absolutely um, destroy things. I mean, you can get the pipe to go um, into the into the 4,000 range on strike. Um, it's just absolutely bonkers um, that you can get the pipe to go that high and then to pair it with um, pair it up with uh, um, and then to pair it up with uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, hang on a second. Let my brain uh, recalibrate itself here. Okay. And then she'll go down here. Uh, so if you pair up uh, Eva with uh, Bridge to Glory and go for light damage, uh, you can get it extremely high. Then you go for Severing Abyss, which is a five times multiplier. So you can get the, and then you go for a couple other uh, damage buffs. Uh, you can get the uh, pipe to do um, upwards of 36,000 on uh, one strike. Um, so, w uh, well, how, how much damage actually is that? Well, uh, I put out a spreadsheet in the discussion tab on, on the channel here, and uh, you have to be on uh, like a, a computer or something to be able to see the discussion tab, I guess, for whatever reason. But uh, if you go and look at that, uh, you can. St I'm starting to fill it out with uh, exactly accurate um, uh, health values uh, that, the, um, that the bosses have. And uh, 36,000 damage, uh, if you're playing um, regular mode, uh, you can kill almost every boss up to the kitty with uh, 36,000 damage. So you can kill uh, every enemy, every boss in the game uh, with the pipe in a one shot. Um, it's just absolutely bonkers uh, why that is. And uh, the fact that that is in this game, but you just have to dig hard enough to find it, uh, that absolutely is, is really, really exciting for me. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get this fella, and we'll do the invasion here. That's why the uh, Town of Sacrifice is uh, horrible, because of the uh, double invasion. Uh, okay, Dingo, you ready? Incoming. Okay, and uh, here we go. And I hope Dingo's ready over there, and he's not getting uh, ambushed uh, around the corner here, as uh, here, here they come. Okay, kill those guys. Let's go for... okay. And this guy will let him uh, come on up here. Let's go ahead and heal. Okay. Now, uh, the another reason why people don't uh, use Eva very much is because they uh, um, don't uh, they don't do those uh, one shots that way. Uh, they do those one shots uh, with Jack, which is fine. Uh, you know, that's that's completely fine. Oh, good grief. Well, Dingo is uh, definitely the star of the show here. Oh, come on. Missed that guy. Okay. Okay. Let's go for a, a burst here. Okay, let's back up. Let's give Dingo some help since he's just uh, going to wreck face over there. There we go. And we need Bridge to Glory. There we go. Oops. And uh, Chunky Lady should be uh, on her way here in a, in a little bit. Um, so, here she comes. Okay. And this... Oh, good. It's the overhead slam. So, if she does the uh, sideways strike, uh, she does an immense amount of uh, area clear with that sideways strike. Um, but uh, it's good to um, make sure that she does that overhead slam. <laughs> good job, Dingo. You uh, definitely destroyed everybody here. <laughs> Uh, the Argent Wolf King Blade is uh, no joke, and if you ever uh, finish the game and you get access to it, um, it is just a monster of a blade. It's uh, it's uh, one of the best slashing uh, weapons in the game. It's not quite uh, at the top tier one shot ability of the um, of the uh, Judgment Edge, but uh, it's definitely extremely strong. Uh, extremely strong. The Judgment Edge is the only blade in the game that can uh, do more damage uh, when you're uh, when you're doing a slashing build than uh, than than it. But uh, okay, we'll uh, kill these guys. Oh, 
I don't understand why that didn't hit this fella. But that's okay. There we go. Okay. Dingo being nice there. <laughs> I'm, I've got items to pick up. We've got things to do. What are we waiting for? Okay, do let's... I need to drink some water. I love those little uh, side pouches there. Those are very cool. Let's uh, let's go take a look. Oops. Hello, Len. Uh, the camera doesn't allow me uh, good things here. Okay, I thought uh, I set my controls. Why did that change? I don't I don't understand. Anyways. A best one-handed video, just like one-handed blades. Um, uh, so we haven't done a uh, one-handed um, a one-handed run through yet, um, as that is uh, coming in the future. I'm on my way. After uh, after the hundred percent run on the road to one hundred, um, if you want, uh, so the next run that will happen will be a solo run, uh, and I have. Um, uh, an interesting way of going about a solo run in the hardest difficulty in the game here with no partners or nothing, no no friends, nobody. Um, and uh, so we'll, we'll have to be looking into that. Okay, I think we've done all these. Um, so now we head in here. Uh, so I will have to... Um, uh, I will have to... Uh, if you want, uh, we can definitely uh, do a solo... Or not a solo, but a, do a one-handed run and we'll look at all the one-handed weapons. Uh, what am I looking at here? Uh, we need to go for, um, we have no fire, uh, except fire pierce, which is bad, but we have fire slash from, uh, from the blazing claw, so we will go for that. And, uh, we will go for antibody generation here to go for more, uh, poison resistance. As you see here, our poison is at 124, so this will give us, um, I believe it's 30% more on, uh, on, uh, regen. Here we go. Well, it wouldn't be a video, it, well, it would be several videos, um, <laughs> so there we go, we're up to 141 on Venom, so that's very good. Uh, so it would be, you know, an entire uh, playthrough, we would look at uh, all the one-handed weapons in the game, and uh, we would look at, uh, you know, how that would go. Uh, so if you're interested in that, uh, we can definitely uh, do that, as we have, um, you know, 70 more stars to go. Okay, there we go. Now, uh, you definitely want to be doing uh, fire, fire pierce here, as uh, we're doing fire, or sorry, you want to be doing fire slash, but we're doing fire pierce, um, you know, because reasons. There we go. And again, you never want to do that uh, that fourth slash on the uh, on the um, blazing claw that one, as it uh, staggers you and puts you down into that uh, defensive state. Okay, and I love Dingo's uh, use there. Of the um, of the uh, dash mechanic with the with the dash cancel, that's awesome. Okay, and let's go ahead and give Dingo some help. And here comes poison. There's the poison. There we go. And the poison is done. So let's go ahead and heal. Okay, and let's get in here. Oh come on. Okay, and uh, let's get gifted extension going. Oh, more poison. There we go. We'll uh, just keep running away uh, from the uh, little butterfly here. Oh, no. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and heal. Okay, good. And we need 10 i -Core if we want to go for um, uh, Cleansing Light, but uh, that's that. Okay, so um, you can see, uh, oh, what, what do I mean by stars? Um, so every time, you beat the, every time you beat the game on uh, enhanced difficulty, the game gets harder, and, um, right and every time you do a new game uh, with those uh, increased difficulties, um, you know, the game, the game gets um, considerably harder each and every time, as this is on the hardest difficulty, and it gets harder to a point, and then it stops getting harder, and that point is, um, 
uh, eight stars. So if you beat the game eight times on enhanced difficulty, uh, you're at the maximum difficulty that the game has to offer. And uh, that's why I did the uh, speed kill videos, uh, simply because I wanted to show that, um, you know, yeah, people are putting out there these, uh, you know, oh look, I did the, um, you know, the Hellfire Knight in a one shot, you know, with, uh, with these. Uh, you know these maces and different things and it's like yeah that's great but what do you do for the hardest difficulty all of a sudden the one shot doesn't work anymore and you need to work a lot harder to figure out uh, you need to work a lot harder to figure out what those uh, one shots are and uh, and how to build them and how to put them together um, so that's why I went about uh, doing that um, for for those uh, areas because I wanted to show um, you know to folks that uh, you know that that you can still do it uh, no matter what uh, no matter what level you you pick uh, you can still do it at extreme difficulty you can do it at easy difficulty you can do it you know at, in different ways um, and that is the you know the entire um, the entire uh, uh, I guess description of my channel is that uh, I want to take Cobain to the absolute limits and uh, you know playing uh, playing this way and doing the hardest difficulty while doing the easiest difficulty, while doing all these different things, um, it's definitely the way that uh, you know I would want to go about it. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> that was funny. Um, okay, so uh, I'll show you what I mean here. Um, so you saw there with the butterfly, uh, you know, we had a little bit of issue there, uh, going for um, you know, kind of damaging her and and whatever, um, and and all that, but. Uh, I'm paired wrong here. Um, we need the ice pipe for here. We need ice crush in here. Uh, and uh, there we go. And uh, so it's a, it's a good way to uh, show, um, you know, at the different levels of difficulty and everything, um, what the game has to offer and why it's so different, um, you know, and why you would want to play it more than one time. Um, if you if you played it on normal difficulty go to enhanced difficulty, you know, and uh, start looking at, well, this worked great in normal difficulty, and now it doesn't work at all. Well, that's because the game completely changed, uh, you know, you going to a new difficulty. And, uh, you know, so running something like this, where it's a generalist kind of a build, where it says, you know, um, I think that's why I think this one's important, because uh, you're able to uh, simply you know, come paired up against any enemy in the game and have all the answers for it um, in one build, in one blood code, uh, in one kind of setup. So, um, yeah, I, I really I really believe that there's, you know, a lot in the game that nobody actually is doing these days, and uh, it's kind of kind of funny, um, but, uh, you know, it's whatever. I don't know where this fella's going. But uh, we'll definitely uh, put him down. And now the squids will, squids will be coming in. So we'll go for a cloak of winter here. There we go. And that should kill a lot of the squids there. To uh, ensure that we're not getting poisoned behind our back here. See, now we should be doing lightning here. Uh, but we're not. We're doing ice. Um, so, oh well. But, uh, but that really is the uh, huge difference. Um, if you know um, how to pair with the enemy. Uh, it makes a huge difference in uh, your ability to actually get through the game um, specifically uh, because each area is paired um, a very unique and specific way um, and it's important to um, uh, it's important to know that in order to really enhance your knowledge and I think personally it enhances your enjoyment of the game because you can kind of uh, steamroll over enemies um, and then you can make it harder by going against their uh, their, um, whoops, dingo's hurt. What am I doing? I'm talking and I'm not paying attention. Um, it's, uh, it's important and it, and it helps, uh, your ability to, you know, react in a situation of like, oh, I'm going after these guys, so I should go for, uh, some kind of, uh, slash or some kind of, uh, you know, crush or something like that. And, uh, all the weapon resistances and the, um, uh, everything in the game is very important to pay attention to. As you see there, he's not really that uh, weak to pierce, but then a two hits with the pipe and he goes down, so that ball is definitely weak to crush, and, and you can 
see that there uh, very clearly um, between these two. You go for him, Bingo. I'll go for him. And, uh, you know, this fella here, uh, like, we're just going to beat him down a little bit. Now we're out of stamina, but, I mean, that was like a really easy fight with that fella. And, uh, you know, it just doesn't even phase us. And this is the pipe that everybody, uh, you know, complained about at the beginning of the game. Oh, what do I do with this pipe and blah, 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 you know, and all this stuff. And uh, it's actually a really good weapon. And, uh, you know, it's here in the game and, uh, you know, nobody's using it. <laughs> but, uh, and if people are using it, they're using it as a joke or some kind of meme or something saying like, oh yeah, use the pipe, ha ha ha. And it's like, no, actually, it's one of the most powerful weapons in the game when it's paired correctly with Eva and, and everything else. So um, that's why I like the game, because everything in the game can be uh, overpowered to an extent. And it's, yeah, the game is unfair in a lot of ways uh, against the player, but it's also unfair to the uh, enemy in a lot of ways as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and heal one. Now I did, we didn't use regenerator there, so we didn't uh, we didn't get our uh, full health bar, but that's okay. Now we come to the hardest boss of the area. Two of these fellas, uh, these squiggly little guys. Okay, but uh, we will uh, get ourselves uh, going here as much as possible. Now it's good that we have uh, access to slash pierce and crush uh, all at the same time uh, because these uh, these fellas. Uh, definitely get out of hand really, really quick. Okay, here we go. Now, it's important to try and get a backstab on these guys if you can. Um, it's very difficult to get a backstab on them, but it's definitely worth it if you can. Um, but uh, that's not always the case. Oh, so we stopped him from his explosion there, so that's really good. Okay, I don't know why uh, Mia's not getting him up, but that's okay. Oh, we got a backup. Oh, there we go. Okay, thank you, Eva or Mia. There we go. And we'll wait, wait for um, sympathetic Boone here to come back. There we go. There we go. And this fella, uh, if we can get a backstab. Nope, backup. Oh no. Let's go ahead and heal. And uh, we'll. Uh, oh, he's exploding again. Okay, let's go ahead and heal again. Let's give uh, Dingo some help. Okay, not sure what he's doing there. Okay, there we go. And we got both. Good job, Dingo. Uh, we got both. So uh, that really helps to uh, spread the field. I need to back for this. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what Mia was uh, doing there. So sometimes I say a lot of wrong things uh, during each of the um, each of the areas and stuff. And, uh, like, I mix up uh, Eva and Mia for whatever reason, because, you know, I'm just dumb. And, uh, you know, I say I say some, some goofy things uh, during the videos. I, sometimes I watch them back, um, and I'm like, did I say everything correctly? And, you know, sometimes it's like, what am I talking about? I'm a, like, I'm holding a halberd, and I'll say, oh, you use this bayonet, and, you know, different things. So, you know, I get confused, <laughs> um, just like anybody else. Okay, so... Um, here uh, for for this lady we want to be doing ice crush uh, so we definitely can do ice crush with a pipe um, so that's excellent and uh, let's go for uh, a little bit of damage here Thanks. <laughs> no uh, Eva is the best in my opinion um, I, I just uh, I think she's I, th I just think she's the best um, but uh, uh, Mia is pretty good too Okay, and we'll go ahead and uh, beat her a little bit. There we go, and we'll go for Ice Crush. There we go, and uh, she will. Well, Eo's good. I do like Eo, but uh, she's not. She's not any of the other ladies. And let's go ahead and back up here. Oh, Dingo with the with the stun. Very good. Oh, even better. Okay. Doing all the work out there, I see. Oh, okay. Now, since we have the ability to continue to do crush, 
over and over and over. She continues to stagger uh, from crush damage, uh, which is excellent. And uh, we'll uh, go ahead and uh, get another... Uh, oops. Okay, let's go ahead and back up. And uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, where is she? Let's go ahead and heal Dingo. Okay, and let's go ahead and heal again. Now, I've spent a considerable amount of time uh, playing her from the uh, poison kill. Uh, so, so I've got this down. Uh, if uh, she she will uh, play nice. Okay. And good job, Dingo. And Mia. <laughs> you guys uh, definitely, definitely pulled it in. <laughs> Code Vein is not <laughs> fun when under the influences. Uh, no, it's not. I can't imagine. Okay, so uh, that's a little bit about this uh, generalist kind of a build here with uh, Volley. And again, um, you can uh, go ahead and pair up with Eos uh, and get exactly the same results pretty much. Um, so these are both in the description uh, and everything. So um, I think we're going to have to cut it here. It's getting pretty late. And uh, um, this will be... Uh, just a kind of overview of uh, if you had to play through the entire game with one build, what would it be? And I would think that uh, this would be um, the ideal case to uh, have pipes and ice blood and the uh, blazing claw and uh, switch out these two for um, your different barrages and these two uh, and this one for uh, the different uh, the two crush gifts here. So. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you all for uh, coming and all your questions and uh, chatting through this and thank you so much Dingo for uh, your time and uh, that was a lot of fun and uh, it was that was great to uh, have a have a partner along with it. Um, so thanks guys and uh, we will uh, definitely see you um, I guess tomorrow morning for the uh, solo run continuation. We'll see you then.